Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. And now, your 2000 First pitch coming at you right after the break. Arizona Diamondbacks. Two outs, base is empty. Gerald stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And every at bat's a big one for him now as he looks to keep this amazing hitting streak going. That one ripped. That's back there. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. Around second now, going for three. And this is going to be a two out triple. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That pitch came off the bat really well in the center field, and he clearly put a nice swing on it. And anytime you can get one to drop in out there, you know you stung it pretty good because it seems like center fielders these days, to a man, these guys can run down just about everything hit their way. Two outs with a man at third. Zach Gellar now goal. at the plate. The second baseman. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level playing at night. And the right-hander deals. Popped up. Harper has a beat on it. Makes the catch in and over. One left for the Diamondbacks. Scoreless after one. Hey, get your pitch. Let's go. Up next for the Diamondbacks. The designated hitter, Gerald Hayden. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. His 68th homer of the year, and that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Now back, the designated hitter. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat, but this team does not want to let him beat him. So first and second with two outs. Now the batter now, Zach Gellar. Got him. That's the inning. Diamondback strand a pair. Score remains deadlocked at one. Next is the designated hitter, Gerald Hayden. He's already homered in this game. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Straighten him up a little bit. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that one hops the wall. Around first and hustling for second. Oh, the throw is over his head. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And at second with one away. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Zach Gellar. The 0-1. 
And that'll fall for a base hit. Around third, he'll score easily. And they lead by two. Picks himself up in RBI. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because